Welcome back to Global Scale Channel. It's another video of Gmail Bypass. So let's start. After you turn on your phone, you click on the language, scroll all the way down, choose the last one on the list, then the first on the list. Then it's like you're gonna make a call, choose this tab, double click, edit. We're gonna choose so we can click on the internet button. Keep holding, keyboard, and then we're gonna choose the layout of the keyboard. Go blue, click, click, and then we go back now. Back, back, all the way to select your own language. So English, whatever language is yours, select it, and then we're gonna follow the same step again. It's like we're gonna make a call, go select this button, edit, and then here we're gonna want to go to the keyboard so you can add a new language that's gonna take us to the download page okay so we scroll down go to Albanian language select it click on the arrow left on the three dots until it loads and here we're gonna type exactly this one first we're gonna make the key select the keyboard that we want to type in okay so use use more m o r s e space and then code Select it, open feedback. At this time, we're gonna click on the video. So when we click on it, we're gonna click on the three dots on the side and then watch later. So that's gonna take us to the internet browser and that's what we're looking for. No thanks. We're gonna type in exactly the same website that we tried on the first method that did not work. So bit.ly forward slash launcher underscore apex and let's see if this time gonna work select loading enter all right let's see if it's gonna load there you go guys that's what we're looking for so now we click on app launcher on the blue highlighted area and wait for it to load okay that's dependent on each one's internet speed so in my case you just click on ok once you see the program loaded on the bottom wait for it to load okay as you can see right there up launcher then we're gonna choose open click on settings so we can give the permission for this app we're gonna select yes enable it then go back click on install wait for it to install and then we're gonna choose open okay then yes okay and boom there you go we are on the main menu of the phone now we're just gonna look for settings okay i'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom about phone i'm gonna show you what phone is this one it's a moto e and then we just don't need to select anything right there i'm just gonna look for the firmware for you guys to see if you do have the same so it's an android version 10. okay so right now we're gonna go on the arrow back we're gonna double click on it all the way to the menu of the phone now double click again so we're gonna check it accounts first from the account and then we're gonna go back okay double click all the way to the menu okay now we're gonna get the same way how we did it again go look for keyboard add the keyboard click on it 
scroll down all the way to Albanian uh, language and then you click on the arrow to the next three dots find feedback click on the video three dots on the on the right side and then we're gonna click on sh watch later all right all right now we're gonna type in again the web the the website so we can load the two programs that we need so it's bit.ly forward slash and then it's gonna be this time frp there you go dot google and then I'm gonna select on the bottom for search Then I'm gonna click on the highlighted area to load the program that we need. Okay, select okay. And wait for it to load. So this period of time, it depends on your internet speed. So you're gonna see on the bottom that it's loading. I'm gonna go on the second link that we have to load it's bit.ly forward slash and this time it's gonna be a little bit different than the other one this time it's gonna be the underscore frp underscore bypass Click on the highlighted blue area to load. We're going to click OK. This time we're just going to wait for the program to load and then we're going to click on the right top side. Go to downloads and then here we're gonna go to click on apps apex launcher so it's gonna take us to the main menu click on open boom there you go so you go back this time we're gonna choose this file folder continue go to download folder so we can install those program that we need okay so we choose the Android click on enable permission go back install done okay so now it's frp bypass open okay so we're gonna choose and uh, choose the three dots on the right top side browse sign in okay right now you're gonna type in your uh, gmail account so make sure you already make a gmail account if you don't have one you can create one on your other phone or computer it's very easy and simple i'm not gonna go through it if you need help just leave them on the comment section below in my case i'm just gonna type in my email password and click next wait for the sign in to happen go back and then I'm gonna go to settings scroll down all the way to account now the new account is added so this is a good sign let's go to the next step okay so let's scroll down look for security device admin apps we're gonna enable it and then activate find my device it should be enabled then we go back to fingerprint we can't click on them so we have to go back look for security again and this time we're gonna enable the screen finding so go on the other one is on as well and then we go all the way to continue without fingerprint on the bottom 
then we're gonna choose a password patterns choose any password that you can remember you're gonna need it later so do not forget it so confirm done so at this moment we need to get out and start from the beginning all the way so we're doing great good job if you guys followed all the way to this step we're almost there okay so the account has been added we just need to go back again to the internet browsing so we can try the last last step so choose like you're gonna make a call edit name click on it click on the internet choose the keyboard same thing we already done this step before so you should know it's Albanian language choose the three dots have some feedback and we're gonna use the same code that we used before which is use more code space between each one I'm gonna type in those websites or put them on the comment section below so you can guys can see them so watch later and here we're gonna type in Google okay and then here we're gonna click find type in find my device type in the exact email that we had typed before sign in that's why you have you guys have to follow every single step if you miss one it's not gonna work so then we're gonna find my device and wait for the find my device to locate the device don't just go and go to the next level and right there you're gonna see it's searching for the device so you have to wait until the device has been found if not it's not gonna work so make sure this step it's very very important to follow it exactly the same way okay so just trying right here you don't need to do all of this you can just wait if the the find my device it's already been found then you're great so if you if it doesn't there you go now on my case i can see the device right there i can see the charge so yes it's already found the device which is good okay now we're gonna go and erase this device okay type in your email and password you guys almost there let's do it put your email password next and then there you go so as soon as it erase the email boom your phone is gonna be fully functional and brand new again so factory that data reset so the phone reset by itself But this step it's gonna erase everything that you have on the phone so make sure if you want your phone back that's the way to do it but you're gonna lose all your files okay, okay since so we're waiting for the star to turn on please give us a moment, thumbs up and don't do forget anything, to subscribe to our channel watch. to receive notification anytime we post a new videos it's a big motivation for us once you like the video and you share it with your friends the likes help our video to be shown on YouTube algorithm for other viewers and help us to grow as a channel. So don't forget that. Go right now, start click on the like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have time, share it within your social media. That's very helpful to our channel. Thank you very much and let's go to the next step. Okay, so this last step is the easiest step. We're almost done. We're just gonna follow the steps. It's next, next, all the way. It's like um, starting a new phone, basically. So you just go next, you choose your internet, uh, you put the password, 
if you want to put a password if you don't we're good so i'm just gonna fast forward this guys and thank you for watching i hope you guys like the video and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe and see you soon with another video with global scale channel